where should I start? To the to the, to the chem lab. I'll do. The, I'll go back to the crime scene very last after I get everything everything I need to know. Um, yeah. So I'll do him there. Now you gotta try to say the lines of the characters with their voice. Yes, I'm that annoyed. I don't think I can do that. I don't think I could. I don't pay attention to their voices that much. Oh my god, I could try to do it for 30 minutes. Um, but I'm not sure how well that will go. Words are already hard enough for me to do it without, um... Cause I don't even hear Makoto's voice that often. Oh, Chem Lab's on the fourth floor. So, let me see. It's... So, okay, I'll, I'm, I looked at the timer to see how long I have. I'll do it for 30 minutes. That's why I said try. Would you rather eat a, ho a hope bagel or despair waffle? Hope bagel. I'd rather... Why would I eat despair? No, no despair. Only hope waffle. <laughs> You know what's gonna happen is I'm gonna probably make fun of their voices more than anything. It's gonna become like parody voices. I feel like I'm gonna give like Byaku like an evil like henchman voice. I was gonna say Hope Bagel all the way. Um, Chem Lab, Chem Lab, Chem Lab. It's down here. Despair! <laughs> I like my waffle with the side of despair and chaos, please. Oh, get out of here! <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be so hard. Makoto, did you have your eyes on the cam lamp? <laughs> this is the worst thing ever. Just make sure you don't get in my way! <laughs> yeah, I it. yeah, I got it. I think what you meant to say was, yes sir, I understand. I mean, like, like, spoiled. Oh, this let me look at this room. Get out of here, Bianca. <laughs> well, why can't I look at this? Why is this not an option? Why can't I look at the spilled mess on the ground? <laughs> oh my goodness. This isn't my first time seeing the shelf, but I just can't get over how big it is. I should probably take a closer look at it. Oh my goodness. It looks like three, um, the three shelves have been connected together to make one giant shelf, but more important right now, what's the powder that's been spilled in front of the shelf? have to be careful not to step in it. Oh, now you're gonna look at it? Oh my god, there's three shelves. I hope that isn't even close, but yes! I said that's why I said I'm, I'm like, I know their voices, but I haven't been paying attention enough to like, remember how to talk. Like, let's see what's on this shelf. It's all kind of di dietary supplements and different medicines. So A shelf is like the, oh, why is chemical C9 on there though? That shouldn't be there, cause it says all A2s, chemical C9 should be in the C shelf. The projecting we found in the rec room probably came from this shelf. It fits his ass so it does a little bit. Uh, all these containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter A and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of, of the showing unit section A. Huh, but wait. There's one bottle here that's labeled Chem C9. Could someone have put it here on accident? Uh, B. So on this shelf is... It looks like a bunch of chemicals that I have no idea what they are. They just all blurry. <laughs> They're regions, <laughs> but simply they're used in experiments to bring about chemical reactions. <laughs> yes, and now have you lived in such an arrogant ignorance for so long? It must be truly be blessed. <laughs> Isn't it kind of hard? Does this remind me of a random audio of Bianca? <laughs> yes, and eating. What? What do you think studying in science and mathematics has practically applicated? Has no practical application in a real world? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the words of lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you well. <laughs> I didn't even say that. Anyways, that doesn't matter right now. I need to phone. Get out of here, Bianca. Stop talking. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter B and a number, so I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit B. Hmm, I don't see anything out of the ordinary here, which in, in which case I don't think I have to worry too much about this shelf. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's going perfectly to plan. I'll get you next time, Makoto. <laughs> and your measly girl, Coco, too. I feel like Byaku's in to become a Scooby-Doo villain. <laughs> oh my goodness. On this shelf is one, one look and I can tell it's nothing but dangerous chemicals. These look like poisons and other powerful chemicals. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter C and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section C. I should, I should try to find out more about the shelving unit. 
It looks like it's splitting into three sections. Section A has dietary supplements, B has um, regents, and section C has lethal chemicals. Taco must have gotten the protein powder from section A. But what concerns me is that in section A, there was a bottle with a label from section C. What was a bottle of poison from section C doing in section A? There's definitely something going on here. Yes. How we get, I think that's it, right? This is a spill, so there's footprints. There are foot, these are footprints, and they, they're only in front of the last shelf. Mm. <laughs> oh god, how do these footprints relate to the scene as a whole? <laughs> we may need to sketch out the floor plan. But do, but we, but by we, do you mean me? Oh, I'm t I just made Makoto an evil henchman too. By we, do you mean <laughs> me? Oh, how kind of you to offer. <laughs> With an unsufferable smirk, he handed me a piece of paper and a pen. Well, let's go. Chop, 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 chop. And get to it. <laughs> wow, the killer really pulled a seat out. Oh. Okay. So I got to work it before long. I drawn up a sketch of the room. This is the worst sketch ever. Oh, I'm so lost. <laughs> it's beautiful. Exit desk. It's perfect. You did a great job, Makoto. 10 out of 10. Eh, hey, not bad for you, I mean. For me. I see. <laughs> So, when you look at it like this, it's interesting. I w <laughs> it would appear that whoever left these footprints only had business in the leftmost shelf. <laughs> they, they came and went straight to that shelf and did whatever they had to do and then left. <laughs> that's, what the foot that's, that's what the footprints tell me. Thanks, thanks, Bianca, for your words of wisdom. These footprints must be. It's certainly possible. Makoto, are they yours? <laughs> Uh, no. Makoto's the best artist we want. Okay, then, then let's see your shoes and I'll confirm your size my, for myself. I couldn't think of a reason not to, so I quickly, quietly did but what Byaku said. I see. Your feet appear to be too big. <laughs> Should have made accents for characters from the beginning. <laughs> I couldn't have been able to keep it up, Pebbles. I would have laughed too hard. <laughs> Plus, I would lose track. I would start to make, I would literally make everybody the evil henchman. <laughs> Slowly, everybody would become Byaku. <laughs> Unfortunately, I mean, I must admit, it was, these are not your footprints. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> but with how clearly these footprints are, it should be quite easy to determine who did, who they do belong to. <laughs> Big feet. These prints are a really um, valuable clue. Thank you. <laughs> how much time do I have? <laughs> I have to keep reading for 20 more minutes. <laughs> There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. I better not leave a footprint. One of the bottle. There's a broken bottle in front of the shelf. Is this where all the powder came from? Looks like the bottle had a label on it C4. Like the bomb? Hmm. Would you like to hear something interesting? I was on the fourth floor this morning checking things out, and at that point, this room wasn't like this. This then this powder must have been spilled. So in other words. That's right, it could have only been around the time of the incident. If that's really is when it happened, it must be related in the case somehow. Thank you. I should probably take a look, go take a good hard look at the powder. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. There's also the remains of a broken bottle. This looks like the bottle was labeled C4. Also, it looks like someone left footprints in the powder. Based on the position of the footprints, whoever it was went to the left side of the shelf. According to Byaku, the powder would have to leave. Would have been spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell for now. What parts of the powder? Is there a way we can like take the measurements so we can measure people's feet? Just have everybody come up and then and like put their foot next to the footprints. Already taking a good look at the chem lab. Maybe I should take another look at the rec room. Let me leave Byaku. Oh god, now I'm gonna have to do voices for other people though. Coco, just don't talk to me, Coco. <laughs> Let me investigate the piece so we were making bombs. A pipe bomb! I, I, baby. Time to go to the rec room. Coco, you let me investigate in peace. Don't you talk to me, woman. So, Makoto, how's your investigation going? <laughs> you better have Coco talk like that. Oh, Makoto. It's so fancy to see you here. I told Coco what Toko and Hiro had told me. Let's see. Oh, I see. So as long as Byaku, they're both claiming they didn't go to see her. But it's still too convenient. Someone must be lying. Sassy Coco's so sassy. I mean, she is kind of sassy. 
Someone's li so someone's lying about not oh, coming why? here. Well, I've made some progress of my own. Sakura's body, the shelf magazine, and the Monokuma bottles. These three things have revealed new clues. <laughs> you do well to look them over for one more time. <laughs> Th thanks. Go, go, I'll do that. Oh, Makoto. <laughs> there's a blood stain in front of the magazine shelf. I can only assume that the blood is Sakura's, but there's... That's strange. If true, why is it so far from this? I thought she said, look at the magazine stand. <laughs> um, Coco said the magazine shelf was hiding a clue of some kind. Hmm, clue. Oh, one of the one of the comic books is upside down? Huh, this magazine is upside down. <laughs> Did someone put it back that way on accident? Hey. If something catches your eye, <laughs> it's important for you to explore that in detail, don't you think? Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. I picked up the inverted magazine and flipped it and flipped through it. Oh, it says Toko? Oh, don't tell me it's that easy. No. 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 Is it? No. <laughs> don't tell. No. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, one of the pages near the center of the magazine board had been written in blood. Don't tell me it's that easy. And it said Toko. Could this be a dying it's message? Back. Then it would appear you found it. Coco, is so... this? It's indeed a dying message. Someone used it to use use their finger to write it. <laughs> of course, it's not that easy. I was like, it wouldn't be. It's. I was like, that'd be too obvious. Cause they already did that in the first trial. That'd be too stupid. You're sussing all the wrong people. I am probably. I still think maybe Hina did it. Maybe Hina killed Sakura because she felt so betrayed. Um. But I don't think it's Hero. I still don't think it's Hero. I don't think it's Byaku. Um, I think it's I think it might be Hina, unfortunately. Cause she's the only one that's had the candy. Maybe she tried to poison a bunch of people. The only other thing I could think of is maybe Hina gave the candy to Hiro and Toko and Byaku hoping that she could poison them and one of them gave or and then um what do you call it? Like Byaku gave his candy to Sakura thinking it wasn't poisoned. And Sakura ate it, and then Hina saw that she had eaten one of the candies and got upset and took her out. It, I, I, the Leon one was so obvious. A dying However. message? But it's to be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was already like that when I found it a little while ago. <laughs> I made sure to put it back exactly the way I found it for the benefit of others who might come looking. Um... Oh god, I have to give her some sort of voice. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> For some reason, I just want to give her, like, she's, like, very petite, but be like, Hey, is that? Does that say Togo right? <laughs> I can't. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> that she's a killer, right? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> well, that hasn't been confirmed yet. It's Harold, the killer for sure. <laughs> That's conclusive evidence. Right? We can't use it. We can use it at the corner. This is you imagine? Oh my god! You imagine this little petite girl, with big D boy. I can see why you would think that, but I just can't. It just seems too easy, but it makes it that much. Well, somebody could easily put their finger in the blood and wrote Toku in the book. Oh my god! The vaccine division. Oh, it's so perfect. Oh my goodness, what else would I someday play? To, someday play Doko Doko with a bunch of friends like gave Yuri like the deepest point. I want to play Doko Doko at some point too, Pebbles. Oh my goodness, I think Coco said she found a new clue involving the Monokoma bottles. There's one, another one missing. If he hasn't noticed that there's another one missing. So wait, the knight was found, but it looks like the queen is missing? The queen piece. Um, they wanted me to stop, but you can't stop a master. It's too perfect. Something new, something new. Hmm. Hey. So, did you figure it out? There's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay careful attention and you're sure to find it. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Coco. <laughs> a correlation. Um. Hey, hey, oh, that, never mind. I was gonna make, I was gonna, I see, I get confused with the voice and oh my god, I became a tea kettle. <laughs> Um, hey Coco, can you t just tell me so... what it is? I don't mind guiding you towards a clue, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. <laughs> Each person needs to come to their own conclusions. 
So if that so that everyone can, can have confidence in their in their outcome. <laughs> and it's not just because you didn't don't trust me, right? No answer. I do trust you to a degree. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. <laughs> Only to a degree? Hey. Actually, there's one other thing about the Monokuma bottles that's bothering me. I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me, right? <laughs> anyway. An experiment? Can you gather up all the pieces of the broken Monokuma bottle? Try to get the smaller pieces too. To accrue you that she that she has a crush on you. Yeah, I yeah, she definitely hitting on you there's definitely a spark between these. Huh? huh? Are you sure it's okay to mess with a crime scene that like that? Matter. I've already done a thorough investigation, so it's fine, and that obnoxious Bayaku not, not so here, done. so then I need to get some more uh, something from the chem lab while I'm gone, try to gather up all the glass. This is now canon Coco Boy's not not Coco but not to, not to yoga, but Coco. <laughs> oh, with that, a Coco left. I forgot to do it in the Coco voice. <laughs> I really don't know what this is all about, but um, what choice do I have? I better just do it. I took the broom and dustpan and got to work, collected all the broken pieces. Oh my goodness gracious. And just as I finished up... Sorry to keep you so waiting. Done. Is everything ready? Then let's get to work. So what kind of experiment are you going to do? Other words. I got a scale from the cleaning lab. We're going to use it to compare the weights. Compare the weights of what? The pieces of glass, duh! One of the McGonagall balls is still intact. What do you want to do? Why do you want to do that? That's the point of the experiment. It'll make the sense when we're done. <laughs> Listen. Oh, wow, she did. This is like an old timey scale. <laughs> First, let's compare the weight of the two normal Monokuma bottles. They're even. It's balanced. In other words. Which means each Monokuma bottle weighs about the same. <laughs> Which makes sense. The Monokuma bottle figures inside are basically the same and nothing else could really affect the weight. So then. Now here comes the important part. Put all the pieces you picked up on one side of the scale. Now what you might, what, now what might we expect to see? Well, a normal assumption would be either they'll balance out or the pieces I collected will be lighter. I did my best to get them all, but there's a chance I could have missed some so here then. and there. Okay, then let's give it a try. You got this, babe. <laughs> the school code points gives the impression of a high school point. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's heavier? Oh, that's not the bottle that was broken then. Huh? Broke pieces are heavier. It's a bottle from the chem lab. Somebody switched out a chem bottle for the bottle that was broken um, in the room. So that, that bottle that's in the chem lab, I think that C4 bottle is actually the Monokuma bottle. How is that possible? I knew it. Just as I thought. What? In other words. The results of our experiment are the correlations between each bottle. Put it all together. Hey. And I believe you will arrive at the one persuasive conclusion. Goku is the one. So what do you think it's all? What's so, what do you? Oh wait. So what do you think? It's all on you. Um. When Kuba Box has been added to the Truth Bulletin Board as handbook, how about? Okay, I got seven more minutes. What else was I supposed to look at? I was supposed to look at the wrapper, right? I gave that to Sakura! She got super upset when I, she found out about Justin. This is the same, isn't it? So after we went to the nervous office, I gave it to her. I thought it might help her calm down. <laughs> okay, thank you for that. Thank you for being the same thing. Just a second. Just starting off in the space isn't going to help you figure out anything. Uh, figure out, uh, help you figure out anything. I just can't believe really this voice. I was all in the, in the wrong... <laughs> Are you saying? Oh, you were looking in the wrong place? Well, yeah, hey. I know, bud. Don't you think you might need to actually examine the body? <sighs> There's nothing... <laughs> There's no getting around it. Unlike me, Coco didn't recoil at the thought of touching a dead body. She was just completely unemotional. It's the kind of thing that I've grown per face perversely used to. Um, although there are still some things... Sometimes I can't believe how calm... I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times I see a dead body, I can't it's get true. used to it. That's totally normal. Like, oh my god. <laughs> he was bright. Cry me. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> Then how can so... you. 
I imagine it's because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the controller fucked. What? Oh, sorry. Never mind. Hey. More importantly, look here. Her shoes. You see the yellow powder on her foot and her uh, on her instep? Yeah, it really stands out just a bit. Let's see. That powder is a clue to number one. Oh my goodness hey. gracious. <laughs> next is a wound next to her head. Look carefully. It's true. <laughs> Actually, even telling you that is incredibly difficult to spot. So let me just explain. <laughs> I would appear that she didn't suffer a single blow, but instead received two blows to her head. <laughs> I can't wait for Toko to hear his voice. And you, there's only four more minutes. We might not get there. Two Ooh. blows. Interesting when you say, and there's one more interesting Correct. thing. Both of her hands were spotless. They're like absolutely clean. Like absolutely no place on trace of blood on either one. That's true. So that's what I learned from examining her body in detail. <laughs> oh, God. oh my goodness. I can't believe she was able to learn all of that just by looking at her body. I don't think anyone but Koku could have pulled that off. That's it? That's the investigation? I have to go over that. <laughs> oh no. Don't, don't you start with me, Bear. <laughs> Whoops, you caught me sleeping. Your investigation was just so boring. I wow, couldn't that stay fast. awake. Wow, that means I'm gonna have to find a lot of my evidence Should in the trial. I do it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? I will come okay, after you, Bear. Okay, then let's begin the class trial. You know where to meet, right? No, Please go no, through I don't. the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. Thanks. Thanks, Monokuma. I appreciate you.